Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video about the Ferrari Daytona SP3 set. Just before I get into the review, if I could ask everyone to like and subscribe, that would be amazing. So, the price for this set is £389.99, with a part count of 3778 meaning the price per piece is 10.3 pence. The set number is 42143, and it was released um, back in June 2022. The age for this set is 18 plus, which I'd say is quite a fitting um, age category, regardless of the other LEGO sets um, that have probably incorrect ages. This is a very challenging build, um, so the 18 plus is probably quite accurate. Um, so the category is Technic. Um, I don't actually have the box with me as it's um, at home and I'm at university. But I'll put some photos up um, on the screen so you can just see the box layout. Um, so as you can see, the internals of the um, box has three different boxes um, showing the rear end of the car. Um, so when you put them on top of each other, it looks like the, the actual um, back end of the car um, with the sides of the boxes wrapping round. So it looks like it's curved. As can be seen in this next photo, um, there are two boxes, so the black um, the black lower section and the upper red section are two separate boxes. Um, so the top sleeve um, just comes off and shows the previous photo. Um, so it's quite a cool little box. So um, as with most boxes, you kind of just look at them. Normally there's a um, push, push tab and it breaks the box, whereas with this um, box it's almost a collector item as as with the car itself um, so Lego have put a lot of thought and ideas into the actual box to make it look just as nice as the actual car itself so these are the manuals um, so it comes with two manuals um, when you put them together it spells out the Ferrari Daytona SP3 which is quite cool um, so this is book number one um, so there, at the front there's just some pages um, from the writers, so I'll just flick through if you just want to give them a read, if you'd like. <laughs> um, So yeah, you can tell just from the amount of pages there are at the front, so there's 30 pages, the amount of thought and um, thought has gone into this set, uh, just on the manuals alone. Um, so um, there, it's as it's a, such a complex set, there is a lot of detail in the manual. Um, there's no none of the slider along the bottom, those with most sets, um, so you can't really see your progress along. Um, but it just it's such an incredibly detailed manual. Um, I'm not really sure it would have been possible if it wasn't as detailed. Um, like the gearbox is extremely complex. Um, yeah, it's a really, really cool manual. Um, very, very long. I think there's over a thousand um, steps in total. Um, and then showing different highlights from each step. Um, so then the second manual just goes straight in there's no no more details at the start um, yeah it's really cool different cool cool manual um, yeah 418 pages um, so there's the whole item list at the back which is very long as you'd expect with almost 4,000 pieces um, but yeah, there's 1,267 steps, um, making this easily the longest I've ever built. Um, yeah.
this is an absolutely incredible set um, so I'll start with the gearbox if you can see it in there um, so there's an eight-speed working gearbox um, which I wouldn't have even thought would be possible with made out of Lego um, so as you can see in here there is a gear lever um, or gear shift if you're in America um, where you can change the different um, resistances of the engine um, which how they've made that out of Lego I it's way beyond me it's extremely complex um, how they've done it just out of plastic pieces is just sensational um, so this set has a mix of Technic which you'd expect as it being a Technic set um, but also standard Lego studs on the back there um, so just the incorporation between the two is very very well done to make a perfectly beautiful set the engine in the back is a V12 and as with the gearbox is fully working as well so all the pistons go up and down um, that's more of a standard Technic thing um, but yeah it's a fully working V12 engine um, which just looks incredible when um, putting it all together um, so the doors so rather than a typical butterfly where it just it just goes up these come up and out so as you can see the the bottom swings out so I'm, I'm assuming in real life that would be for ease of access to the car um, but the mechanism in this is extremely clever um, so back here there's a little button so if you press it the doors just swing open um, they do eventually fall down um, but yeah it's extremely clever how they've just they've put a button in to open the door I just think that's incredible um, the detail that they've managed to get into just this small area of the car so as with the real car the engines in the back so the front bonnet opens with a um, just a wait what you normally have in the boot is it's in the front so there's a little compartment for where your baggage would be um, so this area is a little bit more messy than it is in the real car like there's all the technical pieces showing but really that's inevitable um, the amount of detail they've had to put in this set there's it's just this small area is a little bit messy is quite astonishing really um, so the bonnet won't stay open as you can see these um, bars here when you try and push it up it just pushes it back down um, so if you do want to have the bonnet just lifting up like you can create a little um, piece out of Technic that would just hold it in but I, I've not done that myself um, and it doesn't come with the set but it wouldn't, wouldn't be too hard to um, produce the other detail about the car is there's this little plate on the front um, where they're all individual so every car has a different one um, which I think is really really quite cool. Um, it's just a little little thing that they've added to make every um, every model unique. The rear bonnet is extremely well designed, um, so it just slots straight in there. Um, this bit's unmoving, um, and this just stands up. Um, so the bonnet itself won't stand up um, for very long; it will just fall back down. Um, there is a pin on one of these that if you remove it um, to just get back to me <laughs> I'll take that off and then so once that pin is removed the bonnet can just free stand um, I'm not really sure why it was included um, as it just makes it showing showing all the engine part compartments off like you spent ages building all the compartments so why they wanted to hide it away a little bit um, it's a little bit confusing um, but just the removal of the two small pins on the um, grey pieces um, just m makes it stand up like this, which just showing it off is a lot nicer. Um, so another feature that you might not realise immediately when looking at this set is it is a convertible. So this just pops off. Um, the, these nice um, plates, circular plates here, me and the Technic pieces just means it slots right on and comes straight off so it's really easy to remove um, and just turns it to an immediate convertible which is 
really, really quite nice. What I find most astonishing about this set is how with simple straight pieces, a car that's so flowing um, and non-straight <laughs> um, has been created just with these incredible Technic pieces. It's just, it blows my mind a little bit. Um, the attention to detail across the entire set from the creator is just um, astounding really. Um, so this set took me around 24 hours to build, so it, it's an incredibly long build, um, but you'd expect that for a such an expensive set. Um, so you might be able to see here um, and on the doors, um, there's printed pieces. Um, so there's lots of printed pieces. All of these are printed. There's no stickers across um, the entirety of the set, which just makes it absolutely amazing. If all of these had been stickers, it would have lowered the quality of the set quite substantially, really. Um, so the dimensions of the set are 14 centimeters tall, 25 centimeters wide, and 59 centimeters long. Um, so I would recommend this for anybody, really. It's an incredible set, um, but most specifically fans of Ferrari, um, cars, or any Technic fans. Um, I wouldn't recommend this as the first Technic set you build. If you haven't done Technic before, I wouldn't recommend build, buying one of these. Um, I would recommend doing the smaller ones first and then building your way up as this is quite a challenging set. Uh, 